Uh, we've got some big boys out there now, Marcellus Toliafoa and Paddy Louie. Paddy, son of Sam. Up again, I'm not sure of his record. He wasn't down in the changing room when I was talking to uh, Sam and the other boys, uh, but uh, I did have a chance to say hi to Marcellus, and he's been out in the ring on two previous occasions. He's won them both, and one was won by the short route, and we see our uh, second southpaw in the form of Talia Foa. He's also got a little bit of a height advantage. And as we always say, when the big boys get out there, anything can happen. One punch, it can happen in any division, but of course, uh, when you get the heavyweights out there, it seems to happen more than uh, the other divisions. Oh, there goes that beautiful left hand from Taliafoa. And he goes forward. Louis biding his time. Good footwork from him. So Taliafoa trying to force the fight early, keep the pressure on. Three round fights, you want a quick start. And that's what uh, Taliafoa is trying to get here, trying to get some points in round number one and uh, make it difficult. But uh, good, good ring work there from Louis. Certainly knows his uh, way around the, the ropes and just keeping just out of danger, ready to attack with that right hand. Stalking Taliafoa, trying to cut the ring off, have, have finding that difficult too because of the ring craft of Louis. And that's where we leave the first. I love watching the corners and trying to read what they're trying to convey to their charges and very impressed with the way Sam Louie there is not trying to give out too much information, trying to keep it simple because... Uh, with everything that's going through a fighter's mind, they can't absorb too much, and especially new fighters. And so it's uh, it was interesting to see the way he's uh, acted in the corner on those two previous or two times tonight that we've seen him. Talia Foa trying to control that ring and the pace of the fight right throughout round number one. The, uh, Louis trying to come back and uh, stand a bit more uh, square and not, not back up, having a little bit of trouble catching him when he was on the move. So, yeah, he's, he's going to stand his ground a little bit more and try and take the fight to Taliafoa because, uh, as we said before, you know, it's, it's a lot easier to land the hard punches when you're going forward than it is when you're going backwards. So Taliafoa stamped his mark in round number one, but he's not having the same impression. He's not forcing Louis back here in round number two as he did in that first. But he's still doing a good job with that, especially with that left hand. But uh, Louis certainly not backing up in round number two. Marcellus Taliafoa goes downstairs with that left hand. So trying to find a way through because the guard of Louis has been good throughout the fight. Combined with the footwork and the ring work, he's been a difficult target. So 
see a little bit of southpaw from him as well, but uh, back to the corner with one to go. Fights last year, May and October, won them both. First by stoppage for Marcellus Toliafoa. And, uh, you know, the way the, the fight's been going, uh, you could say it was a quieter round for Toliafoa in round number two, and maybe, uh, you know, Rich in the corner has told him that, uh, you know, you've got to go out there and make sure that you win this one because uh, it might be tied up. You never know. Yeah, there was probably arguments for both fighters in that previous round, but the judges are a lot closer than I am up here. But uh, I gave the first round to Tolly Afoa. Second round was a lot closer. Well, there goes a nice left hand. Quick silver written on the pants, and it was a quick silver left hand. So very, very, oh, there goes another left hand there. Fainted with the, with the right, the straight right, and come in with the left. And it's just that little things like that that can turn the judging uh, on your side, especially when a fight is pretty close and hangs in the balance. Lunging right hand there from Talia Foa. Louis circling round, he's uh, controlling the centre of the ring. But, uh, needing to land something to catch those judges, and this is where it could happen. Well, it's not going to happen tonight because uh, that's where we leave it. Talia Foa takes in the big breaths, and we get our first look at Patty Louis with the headgear off. So an interesting one. And always hard work out there, uh, especially in summer. It's still warm here in Auckland and the boys are worked up a real good sweat and probably a good thirst. Introducing, introducing finally. 